What's up, y'all? This is Coach Nick. Welcome back to G1 Life Skills Academy, where we teach and prepare kids to be champions, not only in the boxing ring, but more importantly, in life. Let me start today's show by asking a couple questions. Can you guess the best way to ensure that your kids apply the life skills and values that you teach them? Are you like most parents and want your child to grow up and be successful? The answer is simple. Teach them how to find the right friends that care about them and want the best for your child. The right friends will have the same values and life skills that you teach your kids. So together, they will support each other and make their parents proud. Just telling your child to find good friends may seem pretty simple. But if we really think about it, is it really that simple? With all the crazy things our children have to deal with in today's environment, it's not that simple. We assume they know how to find the right friends. The reality is they end up with friends that they are comfortable with. They find a few good friends, but more not so good friends. And what happens is the not so good friends do what the majority think is cool. And because there is so much peer pressure to be cool, your child follows them in the wrong direction. Then they eventually stop hanging out with the true friends that really care about them because they're not as cool. So finding the right friends in that situation can be like a coin toss at the Super Bowl. You toss up the coin and whatever side it lands on, that's what you get. So if you're betting, that's a 50-50 chance that you will win. But in real life, 50-50 is not good enough especially for our children, because we want them to be the best. So finding the right friends is extremely important for their success. So how do we teach our children to find the right friends? We need to teach them what the right characteristics are and look for which ones to avoid. Some simple things to consider and teach our kids about friends. Make sure that they bring something positive to the table. If they don't bring anything that makes your child a better person or help them to reach their goals, don't allow them to be their friends. Now, I'm not saying that they should be mean or disrespectful to anyone, but ultimately, your, your children have to do what's best for them because when they grow up, their friends are not going to pay their bills for them. Also, they won't go to work for them either. They should find friends that want to go in the same direction as they do and accomplish the same goals in life. If they find friends who want to go in the wrong direction, then two things could happen. The first is that friends will follow your children and go in the right direction or your child will follow them in the wrong direction. What usually happens is your child will find a few good friends and more not so good friends. Eventually, your child starts spending more time with the not so good friends because they do things that everyone thinks is cool. And eventually, it affects their child's grades and they forget about investing in their future. Their friends are influencing them to just have fun and be cool. Their friends are like an elevator. They can take them up or they can take them down. Hopefully, they find friends that will take them up and have much success. Other things to consider in friends are students that have good grades and stay out of trouble. Students who are leaders and not followers who worry about being cool or popular more than their education. Students who have good grades understand how focusing on fundamentals in life will lead to success and more happiness. The legendary coach Vince Lombardi would hold up a football and first day of camp, 
he would say, gentlemen, this is a football. He wanted to make the point that to be champions, they must master the fundamentals first. In life and regards to our children, teaching them life skills and surrounding themselves with friends who desire the same, that is how they become champions and focus on the fundamentals in life and not what others think is cool. My last suggestion for what to look for in friends, this one is probably the most important. Look for friends who have a positive attitude. Attitude is everything. Research shows that our kids receive over 400 negative messages and only around 30 positive messages a day. It's no wonder depression and mental illness is growing more and more. If we look at some of the most successful companies in the world, one of the most important things that they look for in hiring someone is attitude. As parents, we must ensure that our kids have a positive mindset and attitude. If we expect them to be successful, we need to monitor the messages they receive every day. The reality is, we can't protect them from every negative message, but if we help them receive mostly positive messages, they will be blessed for it. Finding the right friends will go a long way in helping them with that goal. I want to remind parents that our most important job as parents is to love our kids no matter what. They will have many challenges in life, but if they know that they can depend on their family and the right friends to be there for them, then they will embrace those challenges as an opportunity to grow. There are levels to parenting. Lower level parenting is getting your kids to do the right thing. Higher level parenting is getting our kids to do the right thing because they choose to do the right thing. That is called self-motivation, which allows them to do great things in life. Helping our children to find the right friends will help parents reach that higher level parenting status. Parenting is not easy, but if we do our best, God will do the rest. So just in case you don't already know, the G1 in our channel name stands for God First. I have strong religious beliefs, but my goal is not to force everyone to believe what I believe in. My goal is to spread positive vibes and share tips that, are help, that will help our community to be a better place. So thank everybody for supporting the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and look forward to sharing more positive messages. So until next time, much love and aloha.